Okay, we are here with Gillian, who has an ACL reconstruction, and another interesting case because Gillian has done her ACL again, which means she originally did her ACL on this knee through Gaelic football, right? Soccer on this one. <laughs> and so with this one, she stepped sideways and did her ACL. And they took, obviously, a hamstring graft from this leg. Now, she got that 100%. You got that 100%? Yep, yep, yep 100%. 100%. She was feeling great and she was doing really well. And then went and played some goat football and did a really funny kick and landed again. And the interesting thing about why did it happen again, well, we're going to look into her mechanics of her hip control and see if that's the problem. But as far as her mind, she got 100%. Now, she has retorn her hamstring graft. So if yeah. you imagine yeah. this hamstring went into there for an ACL and she's re-ruptured that. Now, because they can't take the hamstring again, they went and took this hamstring. Okay, so she's had a hamstring graft from this side and that ACL is fine, obviously, and then gone into there. Okay, so it's a revision surgery. She's doing really well. Um, she's day four. An interesting thing I was telling Gillian about icing, because what, what she's struggling with at the moment, as you can see, if you put that down for me, try and push that down, Gillian. Meaning she's only day four. That's understandable, but she is not getting extension there. You can see I get my hand in under there. Now, if tolerated, what she can try and do is do passive extension by letting that go because she can't fire her VMO very well so she's going to try and let that hang. Now what you can do to try and help with the pain relief and double things up to save a bit of time is you can ice it. Now what I get people doing, just bend your knee, is using the compression stocking and for her leg this is a side left, just be careful when you're getting it on because it She's had surgery. Yeah. Is what you normally do when you've got a compression stocking on, right? Is you'd have it double layer. So we're talking about when she's sort of moving around and she wants some support to control the fluid, the swelling, the effusion after surgery, and she has it on a double layer. Okay? And she has the top layer a little bit higher than the bottom layer. Just making sure that they always stay flat, they don't roll down like a tourniquet, okay, so they always stay flat, and that's that nice compressive force. Now, when she's icing, what she can do is bring that down to a single layer, and then throw the ice back in there like that, okay, and she can also put one in under the back, so she can have an ice pack in under here, and so when she does this exercise, where she has her leg hanging there, she can have that ice pack sitting in there, and one sitting under the back. So she's covered the whole area of her knee, and then when she needs to relieve it and go off out of that extension, when she bends the knee, the ice pack's not gonna slip off. It's just gonna stay there. And so she can do that for like 20 minutes, half an hour, where she has her knee straight and lets it hang for about a minute until she doesn't like that anymore, and then bends her knee without the ice pack falling off. And that's a really good way of doing that, um, the exercise of passive extension. Okay.